Hello, beautiful brothers and sisters. This is Virginia. This is not sunrise in Idaho. This is right in the middle of a heat wave. It's 102 degrees this afternoon and it's bound to get hotter. So I'm standing in the shade of a tree, but my cheeks are pretty red. Even so, I'm doing fine. So let me just pray. Heavenly Father, please bless this video. May your words be spoken, not mine, and may everybody who comes be blessed by it. All glory to Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. So let me first present the gospel. Jesus loves you, and he wants you to spend eternity with him in heaven. But in order to do that, you need to be born again. And the way that happens is this. First, you admit you're a sinful creature. Then you believe that Jesus is who he says he is, fully God, fully man. He came to earth, lived a perfect sinless life, shed his blood on the cross to pay the price for your sins. He died, was buried, and rose again from the dead. And all you have to do is just believe that. It's so simple. Just believe it. It's like a personal encounter between you and God when you receive those truths into your heart for yourself. And the moment you do that, you're born again, you receive the Holy Spirit, and you can never ever lose your salvation. It's permanent. So I hope that you've become born again. And my email address is in the description box. Please send me an email if you'd like, or leave, leave a comment in the, in the um, comments below. Well, I had to come on and tell you what has happened recently because it's pretty amazing. Um, I had an encounter at Walmart where I told the fellow that Jesus is coming back soon. And he goes, I don't believe in God. I'm a pagan. And I go, well, Jesus is the only way for you to get to heaven. He said, I don't believe in heaven. Okay. And so there's nothing I could do to help him. And then I gave a tract to the lady, the greeter at Walmart, and she looked at it a little bit and she goes, no, no. I go, no, please take it, take it. And she did. She goes, okay. I said, read it because everything you need to know is in there. It's very good. I thought she might be foreign. I wasn't sure, but I had the sense that she was going to read it. So then the next day I'm going, Lord, where do you want me to go today? What do you want me to do? And he said, Hobby Lobby. And I go, Hobby Lobby? Okay, I'll go to Hobby Lobby, no problem. So I got there, and um, I wanted to talk to the manager about setting the tracks at the, at the checkout line so the cashiers could give them to every customer when they checked out. And he came, and he said, well, I can't do that. We need corporate approval. And I said, well, look at this tract. And I said, do you know that Jesus is coming back soon? No, he didn't know. And I said, if you died today, do you know for sure that you would go to heaven? And he kind of looked quizzical like, no. So I presented the gospel to him and um, he was riveted. He was very, very interested. He even said so. This fascinates me. And um, so I gave him a tract and um, he, I asked him if he wanted to receive Jesus right then, if he wanted to believe right then. And he said, my spiritual life is very private. I said, okay, but do it today. Be sure to do it today. I'm pretty sure he did because I talked to him a long time. So uh, that was pretty exciting. And then... This was the interesting thing. I, I'm praying today, Lord, what do I do with these tracts? Where am I going to go? What shall I do with them? And I happened to look online for um, Christian businesses. I thought I would talk to Christian business owners, ask them if they'd leave the tracts at their checkout counters. And I came across this one, and it was called Christian... Um, ministry incubators. Like, a, what an interesting title for a, for a company, Christian Ministry Incubators. I called the number. I got a hold of 
the top guy. His name is Rod. And so I talked to Rod and I said, I have all these tracts and I really need to, uh, I'd like to get them in the hands of people. And he said, well, this is perfect timing. This is God's timing because I need some tracts. I am putting on, we're setting up right now for something called God and Country Festival at the local arena. It's huge arena. They expect 10,000 people tonight. And I went over and met with him today. And I was amazed that he invited me in to use my tracts, and I gave him the PDF file for the tracts, and he's going to print off more. He, he needed like 4,000, and I didn't have that many. <laughs> and so he is going to print off a whole bunch more. Starts tonight at 530, and he has welcomed me to come and pass out tracts and witness to people who are there. So that's what's going to be happening tonight. And I am pretty excited. It's going to be wonderful. And uh, my grandson is coming and he's going to record me and the whole festival, as much of it as he can. And I'll put up another video tomorrow of that. But I just wanted to let you know how God opened a door. This is an open door because this man's ministry is international. I'm, I was just flabbergasted amazed but why should I be because our God is big and nothing is impossible to him and so I just wanted to share that with you brothers and sisters thank you for coming I love you all God bless you if there's another video to come up which I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one tomorrow if Jesus doesn't come back first I will I will post it and so God bless you I love you and until then, bye for now.